The typical image of a big city is represented by high-rise tower blocks that are surrounded by asphalt streets and flavored with heavy urban air pollution. It goes without saying that a modern city is associated with an environment that is distant from nature. While not everyone wants to live under such conditions, we have to roam these concrete labyrinths to earn our living or to provide for our families. However, there is a way to help modern cities breathe easier. Moreover, one of the greenest metropolises of the world is currently located in the US. Chicago is the second most important financial center of the US. Despite its size in urbanized areas, it has a reputation of an environmentally friendly city. The local authorities are taking noticeable steps to resolve the problem of acute shortage of fresh air and green spaces in tightly built business areas. For this very reason, the gardens with living greenery are planted on the roofs of high-rises. In 2000, the pilot project for the arrangement of green spaces on the high-rise buildings was implemented in the Chicago City Hall. The City Hall rooftop garden covers 20,000 square feet with more than 150 species of plants. The building was ideal for the pilot project, since the roof was originally designed to include the possible additional floors. The vast rooftop also provided an opportunity for scientific research. Only a half of the roof was planted and the rest remained in its original state. The idea behind was to test the benefits of green roofs in terms of temperature, air quality and stormwater intake. The City Hall project allowed to examine the variety of plants in a single study, from the small grasses to the medium-sized shrubs. Chicago is the city of the first skyscrapers, and for many years it has been trying to improve its environmental sustainability. One of the goals was to avoid the so-called heat island effect. The urban heat island is an area in the inner part of a large city, characterized by high air temperatures if compared to the periphery. Chicago authorities were forced to address this problem after 1995, when several people died due to the extremely high internal temperatures within the city. Downpours in Chicago were also a serious problem. The city's sewer and storm drain systems are combined, and that means that during the rainfall, the systems are overloaded, and this leads to overflow and contamination of sewage, though four of the green roofs aimed at absorbing a significant amount of rainwater. Planted rooftops cut expenditure on heating and cooling of buildings and reduce the amount of storm sewage. Finally, green roofs provide an additional commercial space, which increases the market value of real estate. From year to year, the number of green roofs in Chicago is growing. The Millennium Park is the largest green roof in the world. The park facilities include the rail station, the two parking garages and the Harris Theater. The overall territory exceeds 1 million square feet. Uncommon Ground is the first restaurant in the US that received a certificate for its organic farm on the roof. This roof provides the restaurant itself and also serves as the classroom for the agricultural classes of the local school. And these are just the few examples of prominent green roofs in Chicago. Green roof is able to expand the area of the natural landscape. It can serve as the integral part of healthy and balanced micro-ecosystem that supports biodiversity. Planting the rooftops helps to avoid significant temperature fluctuations inside the buildings. Green roofs absorb excess heat in the summer and protect against overcooling in winter. Thank you for watching this video. Have you ever been to the rooftop garden? Or maybe you have one on the rooftop at home. Do you believe that green roof is the sustainable solution to extremely rapid urbanization? Please share your thoughts in the comment section.